ever come across your uh, soda machine and you got a jam column? Yeah. Well, this will be fix it and uh, replacing some shims as well. Oh. So you got to pull all the soda out and replace the shims. Well, I've had a shim problem on this machine since I got it and I needed to replace some shims. Well, I've tried finding these shims everywhere on the internet and I can't seem to find them. So I had a friend uh, 3D print some for me and they look just like the originals. They work just as well and for a fraction of the cost. So all I have to do is uh, put them down in the machine and it'll realign everything. Let's get this down in here. And then once you get done with the getting the jam cleared, let me see if I can put some light on it down there. See, there's the shim. And sorry for the quality. So what it's gonna do is it's gonna help get the cans back into alignment. Once you get the jam cleared, you have to get the, the motor reset. So what you do is you unplug this, unplug one of these wires, and it'll uh, re it'll let the motor loose. Once you once the motor is not is not energized anymore, yeah. press the brake. It'll back off, and you can clear your jam. Once the jam is clear, reconnect the motor, and it'll finish its cycle. All right. Let's see here. So this is how it works after you clear the jam. And one more. And then the column's no longer jamming because it's pushing, it's pushing the product into the proper spot.